This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com. Today I have with me the T-Mobile Web Connect USB laptop stick. It's a new 3G modem available on T-Mobile USA for uh, $49.99 with a two-year contract, uh, $99.99 with a one-year contract or without a contract for $249.99. The tariff it runs on currently currently runs about a sixty dollars fifty nine ninety nine a month, which is pretty steep considering that Verizon and Sprint and AT and T offer similar price plans for a much more extensive three G network. The modem itself is manufactured by Huawei. That's spelled H U A W E I. For those of you that don't recognize the uh, pronunciation, you can see the USB connector on this device snaps into a number of positions, so it makes it pretty easy to position on your laptop any way you need. You'll also notice that it has a micro SD card slot, uh, which is handy. It can accept 8 gig cards. It doesn't come with one, but I've stuck an 8 gig card in there just to show you that it works. There's also right next to it an external modem, uh, sorry, an external antenna connection. The device actually has its own memory built into it, which it stores its own drivers. So the cool thing is you plug this into your laptop, you know, Windows XP or Vista, uh, Mac supports coming later, but you plug it into your laptop and it shows up as a CD drive and automatically boots up the software and runs it and installs it so you, you don't have to be driving in, um, dragging any you know, driver CDs around with you or anything like that. Pretty cool. I had it up and running in about two minutes time. It manages your Wi-Fi connections in addition to the 3G connection. And In terms of performance, it did pretty well. Uh, even with a really weak signal in the area where I am right now, it still managed to get consistent, you know, 300 to 500 kbit per second speeds, which is, you know, as good as just about anything else I get on T-Mobile in terms of 3G devices. Uh, I did have a couple of faster connections up in the 800s, which was pretty nice, uh, HSDPA speeds, but um, that's we're still talking with what I'm getting from one bar of signal, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed overall. Let's open up the back of the device just so you can see where the SIM card goes in. Nothing too tricky, just slides out. And just because I find it a bit entertaining, I thought I'd show you the Web Connect next to a Sony Ericsson TM506. Um, this, the TM506 was Sony Ericsson's first HSDPA device for T-Mobile, and they have a very similar color scheme. You can even see in the profile. These two really look like they were separated at birth, which is pretty funny. In terms of connectivity options, of course the device will work on T-Mobile USA's AWS band network, which is split across 1700 MHz and 2100 MHz. It also works on the 2100 MHz 3G uh, UMTS bands used in most of the world, and it can even roam on to 1900 MHz networks too, um, such as the one set up by AT&T here in the US, although I doubt it really can roam onto AT&T's network itself. It's a kind of an issue with the SIM card and everything, but in other countries that support 1900 it would work. Uh, Tri-band GSM edge support, and that's Tri-band. Uh, oddly enough, it does not seem to support the 850 MHz GSM band that's used by AT&T and T-Mobile alike in uh, the USA. Kind of an odd thing. I've got the WebConnect stick plugged into my Lenovo ThinkPad right now. I'm going to connect it to the network. You can see the Connection Manager running here manages, you know, Wi-Fi broadband and also has support for VPNs. We are now connected, so I'm going to pull up this speed test on, from DSLReports.com. We're going to pull down a one megabyte file, see how quickly it moves. You can see right here, if you look at it, we've got one bar of signal, so it's a really weak signal that we've got now. And yet we're still probably going to get somewhere around 500 kbits per second. Oh, not even better than that, 654. So not too bad considering the situation. I mean, the antenna inside the WebConnect seems to be pretty good. Uh, you can also see that there's support for you know, different APNs on the network. The, this is the epc.tmobile.com APN. This is internet2.voicestream.com. And this is internet3.voicestream.com, for those of you that know what that means. And of course, it will support your Wi Fi connections. I've got Wi Fi disabled just so it doesn't pick up the office network. Um, and you can use this to you know, search and see which 
networks are available and there's also a T-Mobile hotspot locator built into the device so you don't have to go anywhere 19067 and take a look you can see there's some local locations found you know we've got uh, a couple different Starbucks and stuff so pretty useful software runs pretty well no complaints there you have it. That's the T-Mobile WebConnect USB laptop stick. It's a neat tri-band GSM Edge, tri-band UMTS HSDPA device. Weighs just under an ounce, uh, about 28 grams. And um, nice package. Also has external antenna port and a micro SD card slot, which is useful at times. So there you have it, the T-Mobile WebConnect. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.